still okay. The old ones are still very comfortable. A bit flatter. Yeah, you can definitely feel there's a big difference in that midsole. Okay, so as I said, I will get my hands on a pair, new pair of Olympuses as quick as possible. And here they are. So Ultra Olympus 4, just the same model, uh, just a different colorway as my last one. But what I'm really interested to see is whether there's much of a, of a difference in how they feel. I know the upper obviously is completely different. Uh, there's no wear and tears, but I will, yeah, we'll be keen to see how the uh, midsole feels in comparison to see whether that eight bound midsole has slightly deadened out, flattened out over the last six, six, seven, eight months, whatever it is. Um, but just a few words of uh, warning to anyone who do buy uh, the Olympus. I think where I went wrong is I got it wet uh, quite a few times and left it soaking wet. And I think that weakens the material on the top. And also uh, don't wash them in the washing machine. But the one thing I'll say immediately <clears throat> is actually the tread hasn't actually worn that much. So this Vibram uh, Mega Grip is a very good outsole and it seems to last. So yeah, as I said, I'll be interested to see whether how these fare up against the old ones. So my plan is, is to put the one of these on one foot and keep the other Olympus on and see the difference between the two. Pretty much instantly, you definitely feel the, uh, the difference uh, with the old and the new. It's just there's a lot more spring, a lot more energy return in the new. The old ones are still very comfortable but obviously that A-bound midsole has slightly deadened out. Still okay, but yeah, it's not as, nowhere near as springy and uh, sort of good energy return as the, it's just a bit flatter. Yeah, you can definitely feel there's a big difference in that midsole. Yeah, so 400 miles, 400 plus miles in these. Obviously these are brand new. Um, I'm gonna do a quick, quick walk test to see how they feel, but the most instant, uh, but the immediate reaction is yeah, a lot more spring, a lot more pop back, a lot more energy return from that Aber midsole in the new ones, which is quite a good thing actually. Uh, so therefore, it means that you know, obviously the upper is good now, but also the midsole is going to be better as well. So hardly surprising because I know the Aber midsole isn't, I suppose, the most resilient in the in the uh, in the bag. But uh, these are still good, but very different now. You can you can see it. So I'm glad that I have managed to pick up pair number two. So yeah, so just walking in them. Uh, you can definitely feel there's just more comfort. There's more, and just yeah, they are just just springier. Uh, the other ones are very very soft, and these ones have the more responsive. They have the cushion and the responsiveness, and I think that's obviously what's happened is that, you know over the last 400 and whatever miles they've just slightly flattened out, as I said. Um, so yeah, it's obviously no brainer that they're going to feel different with the new to old, but I was just intrigued to see how different they would feel, and they are quite remarkably different so my feet are going to be happy so there we have it it's just a really quick one there just wanted a comparison from brand new to fairly well not old but for, let's say 400 miles into it but what is a bit annoying is that wind blower just you know i'm just trying to do a comparison video here there he is he's looking uh oh he's coming